In the shadow of Africa's great rift valley, surrounded by heat and shimmering mirages, lies one of Earth's most disturbing wonders, Lake Natron, a lake so mesmerizing, yet so lethal. It seems almost supernatural. What makes Lake Natron terrifying isn't just its blood-red color, it's the chemistry. The water is filled with volcanic minerals, including sodium carbonate and caustic salts, giving the lake a pH of 10.5, nearly as corrosive as ammonia. When birds or small animals accidentally touch its surface, the minerals react with their bodies, preserving them in stone-like form, not literally turning them into rock, but mummifying them with terrifying detail feathers, wings, claws, all frozen in time. Local guide photographers have found birds washed ashore, perfectly preserved, like eerie statues staring into the sun. It's nature's accidental art, and a reminder of how fast life can end in extreme environments. But here's the shocking twist. Despite being deadly to most creatures, Lake Natron is home to millions of flamingos. Why? Because they reap perfectly adapted to the water's chemistry, and the lake protects them from predators who one tea dare enter. Lake Natron is a contradiction a deadly trap, and a safe haven. A place where life thrives next to death, and the boundary between the two is razor thin. Beautiful, silent, deadly. This is Lake Natron, the lake that preserves the dead-like statues, 